Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. Today we're working on the 4G63 for the Project Drag Stealth. What we're doing is we're gonna put a, a Kigley main girdle in. So this is your standard six bolt 4G63. You can see the main caps here are individual. Seven bolt 4G63 is a combined girdle, so you don't really need this uh, until you're really making some power. This motor made about 900 and some change years ago with uh, ARPs and doweled uh, cap placement. So the blocks were machined for a dowel, but it still shifted around a little bit. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put this Kigley main girdle on. And in order to do that, you need just a, a couple of tools. Uh, you're gonna need ARP studs, of course, if you've never done this. These are new for when the engine comes back from the machine shop. Uh, safety glasses, because you're gonna be grinding on the block a little bit and then the tools to get your main bolts out and then your new studs in because you're going to set the depth with a dial caliper here. So on the ARPs, it's a four millimeter hex head and then a 12 point socket on 12 and the torque wrench to set it back down. So the process is pretty simple. If you don't have the Kegley instructions, they're actually on his website, but hopefully this helps you out as well. And essentially, you know, that's what it's gonna look like when you're done. You're gonna be grinding a couple of rear cover mounting bosses to clear the girdle, which uh, there's your bosses right there, really. So you're gonna be grinding those down. Again, I'll set it on there and I'll show you how you do. So really the basics is take your main bolts out, thread your uh, studs in, and then you wanna make it so they protrude about 15 millimeters up above the girdle surface. So this is your girdle surface right here, this cap. You want this height to be 15, this bunch of the dial caliper. So let me get these nuts off here and I will show you how that looks in a moment. Okay, so we got the nuts out and I'll show you why you need to grind it here. First off, with these girdle plates, there's two different profiles. There's a straight profile and then one that's got that notch piece. So if you get it wrong, when you're setting this on here, you're gonna end up with block clearance. You don't need to grind this part of the block. This is where your oil pan seals do not grind if it hits here. This is correct. You can see it clears here. And what you're trying to accomplish here, and I'll see if we can get in here, is you see how it's not all the way down and it's rocking? Because there's a, a hole boss right where this thing is filled with junk. By the way, do this before you bring the, shop, uh, the block to the machine shop. This is actually heading out the door today or tomorrow to actually get line honed and balanced. So I figured now is a good time. But anyway, you want this to be able to sit all the way down. In order to do that, set this over here. You got to grind down this boss here. So that's the next step is I'll take a grinder and I'll grind this down. So the cap sits down all the way. And then of course flip this around so it goes the right way. This one's gonna sit in here like this. I figured that was a helpful tip. So straight parts to the black at the back of the block. This flange piece, this goes to the front of the block. Okay, so we've pulled that cap off. Now we can actually really see the two bosses we need to grind down. When I was saying they were pinned, you can, eh, it's maybe hard to see. Well, you can see there. See, there's a step down on the threads. This is kind of a really old school DSM or trick. Kind of this block is really, really dirty, so it's nowhere near ready for assembly, but the pins help locate the caps. And this was done, I think the last time this block was ran was probably 2007 or eight. You can tell it's turbo blocks. You can see the oil squirter galley over there, but yeah, I think this thing was making 930 back in 07 or 08. It may have been earlier than that. And the previous owner, didn't want to do a girdle. I don't know if Kigley had it out yet. He may have. He's been around a long time. Uh, go check out Kigley Racing. They've got a lot of really cool trick stuff for the DSM platform that kind of keeps it moving. So we'll just set all my stuff in there. Another reason why I'm replacing is this one right here. You can see it's stripped out and slotted. So it'll be fine for the line hole and it just goes back over here. But we'll put all fresh stuff in when we get this back from boil. So so let's grab the grinder and we'll smooth those down and then torque this up. So when you're done, this is what you should have. Nice and nice and cut down. Now, remember I was saying be careful. 
I nicked my block a little bit right there. Now it's barely there. It's more of just a, uh, I mean, it's just a little bit taken out. So this will be fine, but this is why you want to be very careful when you're grinding. So that's nice and smooth. And that's nice and smooth as well. So we'll put the cap back on. Notice I protected the block, even though the boards have been honed and final, final grit, but uh, this block needs to be boiled and clean. It's nowhere near assembly, but still protect your work area. You don't want to cause any damage. And then I end up using two grinders, a flapper wheel and a regular grinder. So let's put this together. When you're properly ground, you should have some clearance. It shouldn't be touching anywhere. Oh, I'll try to get a picture. There we go. Now the 15 millimeter they're talking about is from the main girdle to the top. So there's enough clamp space for a washer and the nut. These are about 12 or so. We'll just show you. Granted, I would do this with two hands. I'd push it down, but... Oh, come on, focus. You want... Just... So I'll have to back all of these studs up just a little bit. So what we'll do now is just spin them all back to 15. This one, the one that's missing, I already set that head at 15 or the washer bottom at 15, so that'll be fine. And then uh, torque it down and we're done. And we're all set. Torque down to 60 foot-pounds in three stages following the instructions. That should keep them all together. You found this useful? Don't forget to click on the like and subscribe. You can see I don't have a lot of followers. A couple more would be great. Thanks for watching.